Well, talk? you sound good. We all sound good. All right. Yeah, we didn't have the mics on, so can hopefully everyone can hear us now. Hey, you know what? So we give a shout to, out to Mark Coney. Welcome back to ColbertRadio.com, November 16th, 2009. Second segment coming up, sports. I hope you heard the first one. You really missed it if you missed the first segment. <laughs> yeah, we just... Uh, but uh, it'll get better. Don't worry. You haven't really <laughs> missed it. So you got the Carolina-Florida game. For yeah, the Carolina-Florida game. We got the Carolina game. Florida won that game. Oh, shoot. And you know what? There they were. The Gamecocks were driving in the red zone. Florida's pretty good this down, year. They're ranked number one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And South Carolina was in the red zone, down by three points in the fourth quarter. And, you know, it's sure enough. To, yeah. And, you know, you can't blame this on Garcia. Garcia hit Mo Brown right in the hands. And Mo Brown, his hands, I guess, were too close to his head or something. Because the ball hit his helmet or something and bounced out of it. And then a guy from Florida took it 53 yards the other way. Next thing we know, we were about to score in Florida. Maybe even take the lead. Maybe even win the game. Next thing we know, the guys are fighting desperately trying to keep Florida out of the end zone. How do you feel about that, Brooke? I don't really care. <laughs> oh, I think that's a good answer. Uh, I think I think um, either does Carolina. I think I think Carolina put in a put in a good appearance, and um, Florida deserves to fall from number one, even well, though they've won ten straight. <laughs> because they didn't play well, well against because South they Carolina. didn't play well against Carolina. Well, Absolutely, well, but uh, you know, overall, Carolina did play pretty good football. They played pretty good. I think uh, the paper said Garcia actually had a better uh, game statistically than. Yeah, Garcia looked pretty sharp. And when he's got time, uh, we have, we're having some problems still with the offensive line. Now, it's kind of hodgepodge put together. And a lot of them are very young, and they make a lot of really stupid, you know, yes. young mistakes. But if they can get that line to, to work together better, these guys really get to know each other, I think this team has real potential over the next one to two years to really make a big splash in the NCAA. Because we have a lot of – We've uh, got the talent. Do we have a lot of stupid penalties like normal? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, like, no, but that's, you know, that's coaching. They, they've got to get them to stop doing that. But then again, they play, they play so many freshmen and sophomores. Yeah. That's yeah. going to happen. The other thing I think they're lacking on is a special teams defense. When they when they kick the ball away, they just let those other guys get way too many yards on the returns. Yeah, normally they do. But, you know, actually, I thought the special teams played a lot better in that particular game. Not in, their, not in every kickoff, but, yeah, that's been a problem, too. So special teams and the youth at offensive line. So anyway, a nice drive by the Gamecocks. Clemson looks like they're going to be going to the ACC championship game. And like yep. what show, what's the only show that picked Clemson to win the ACC title? Uh, would that be ColbertRadio.com? That would be ColbertRadio.com. And we, are, and we got a, yeah, we got a bunch of Gamecocks in here. But let me tell you, those Gamecocks said, I don't care if it is Clemson. They're going to take the ACC, and it looked bad there for a while. How do you feel about Clemson? Brooke. I don't watch football. I don't really. I don't well, that's know why. Anything but you understand. Football. You understand the concept. <laughs> talk, talking football, I think we had a discussion. Uh, it's got to be four weeks ago now. Where since I've been here, right? Yeah. Right. But the discussion was uh, NFL teams. Uh, what was it? Their jersey colors? No, no, the helmet. He's the gonna, helmet. Um, I think he's going to pick by the helmet. All right. So I got the poll stuff working for the, You're the hot. website. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, you're <laughs> hot. Wow. wow, you're hot, boy. I tell you, that's a hot. Brooks mic. having a rain man attack over there. Wow, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, yeah, uh -oh. yeah, definitely loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's definitely, definitely loud. Uh, yeah, definitely in a drive. Okay, way. we're losing yeah. our, yeah. our our our. They're weather. leaving us. Yeah, our fans are leaving us. No, no, we're just well, losing our string loud, of string of thought just... here. Oh, okay. Go ahead, I was about Sean. to say to our fans, get your hats back by that computer. Go ahead, Sean. How do you think you're going? All four of you. All That's four. right. We have uh, the poll now on the website, but I didn't really remember what teams we decided were our top five. I don't to think vote we. From. Uh, oh. Well, let's hear it. Well, I what do we got? Let me see who I picked. Just While you're mind. doing that, I want to ask Brooke about women's sports because we don't want to be misogynistic. We want to be men of the new millennium. We want to be caring and sensitive. And so. We, I want to talk about women's sports. How about that Billie Jean King, huh? I don't like sports at all. <laughs> okay, that, that can get done. How about those female soccer players that are just getting wild? 
Have you seen yeah, that yeah. footage where they're just the poking each other and pulling the hair? Oh my god, yes, see, I mean that girl was, that, other that, that, and that wasn't the only girl she hit on him. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, she was knocking no, them all over the place. I watched that. Like, they don't let someone cover Oh, that you watch. That you watch. Yes. Well, you know, you can't really be in a cat fight. low drop. <laughs> she watches. <laughs> that girl. Okay, all right. Uh, how about like something like uh, Bridezillas or something? You ever watch stuff like that? I have watched that. I really My wife and daughter love that, that show. The oh, is that where they go? That's where the they planet. go crazy. Oh God, they're awful. You know, yeah. I have I can't a watch theory it. about females fighting versus males fighting. See, if you and I got upset with each other, the, the goal would be you you and I would go outside and just basically pummel the hell out of each other. Okay, the idea being that the best man wins. If two females go out. To beat each other up, it's a total embarrassment fest. You want to pull hair out, rip oh. clothes off, uh, scar hopefully permanently. So, so but that's entertainment. What, that's right. Yeah, you pay so good money for that. Would I watch two like guys fight? No, I'd walk away. Would I watch two go girls fight? Well, Absolutely. You're right, about that, cause you're, you're right about that. Does it depend on if it's a Jello or pudding or something? Well, that's a, well, that's a different thing. All well, time, right? listen to what Brooke came <laughs> up with. Oh, right. oh my goodness. Where did that come from, Brooke? Jello and puddings. <laughs> <laughs> we should have had you on the show from the very beginning. It's a family show. Right? We'd have a bigger audience. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You took that to a place we weren't expecting. No, no. I tend to do that. <laughs> this is for um. It's for our listeners to vote. Okay. Okay. Just, so um, that. so fine. um, will you like? Uh, let's. Well, okay. you know, well, I, as far as I'm concerned, we're done with sports. Oh, well, yeah. Well, we wait. Go, can we go we're, back we're to, done with sports. Can we, wait, can we go back to our outline quickly? Go back to the um, outline quickly, but why don't you go ahead and end the sports seg segment, and we'll come back with the show. interview of Brooke. Is this every show you outlined in one file? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just get Okay, I think we're out of sports now. Yeah. Okay. What did you, did oh, you lose it? Yeah. Go all the way to the bottom. Uh, here's my pick for tonight. Based on helmets. It's okay. Cleveland. It's Monday night. It's Cleveland versus the Baltimore Ravens. Okay. I'm going for purity. So you've taken the Browns. The Browns. No logo. Because the Browns are so cool. They are so tough. They, they don't, don't need no need stinking, stinking logo. 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 Aren't they in the cellar? We don't got no logo. Aren't the Browns in the cellar? We don't need no stinking logo. This is Brady Quinn's Ball triumphant Ah, return Percy tonight. Hugo's joining us. Percy's in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Percy, you're going to have to pull up a chair over there or something. Okay, yeah, I'm 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 See, I'm you know what? I'll go with the Ravens. Okay. You know, if, hey, Lance, if you want to come on this like, side, yeah. and you and can you share with, live. with Brooke, yes. maybe, and make room, <laughs> we'll put three to each side. Can you handle that? All right, are we still on the air? As far as I know, you guys are handling all the equipment. I'm, oh. Right now, our fans are going, wow, you know, they were getting better, and now we've got a major setback. It's like Carolina playing Florida. Okay, well, Welcome uh, to Amateur no, 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 As I'm looking at our outline, our next, our next segment is going to be an interview with Brooke Fox. Uh, and the Brooke Fox interview. And um, so, I guess, so I guess we are out of this segment. Colby Get us out of this segment. Email us. Email us. Tell us what you're thinking. Well, just email us and be nice. Maybe not. <laughs>